said mispriced at the beginning when you're talking about the Nebraska game, and then you sort of alluded to it right now. What percent of your wealth, success, whatever you want to call it, do you think is attributable to mispriced, and what, what percent is just attributable to you guys doing the work, doing the research, and loving the business? Well, you've got to be the second to know when it's mispriced. True. Yeah. So, if I look at, well, just take, take the Ambassador Bridge in 1970. Uh, my guess is, it was way back, but you were probably getting pre-tax 15% returns on if you bought the Ambassador Bridge. Now, here's something that, you know, is a necessity and, you know, the auto parts are going to flow back and forth. And even if you had just small increases over that, that was a great investment. You know, and, and that wasn't because I was any genius or anything. I mean, anybody that knew anything, you know. But I looked at it as a business. And other people would look at it and say, well, the stock hasn't done anything for a couple of years. Well, who cares whether the stock's done anything for a couple of years? I mean, I don't care. I don't know really why farm has done anything for a couple of years. I know what it can produce. Mm -hmm. So you got to look at it as a productive asset and not as something that wiggles around on a piece do, of paper. Do you get a feeling?